Hi there, I'm Jamie Webster. I'm from the Australian Marine Conservation Society and today I am in my absolute element. I am at the Mulgrave River, 30 minutes south of Cairns and I've just spent the day driving around a cane farm with a local farmer, Tony, talking to me about all the initiatives he's introduced to make sure that he's cleaning up the water quality that's entering the reef and he's doing his bit as a steward of our beautiful Great Barrier Reef. So second to climate change, water quality is a huge risk to our reef. Dissolved inorganic nitrogen is a pollutant to the reef. We use it on farms in the form of a fertilizer. If the nitrogen from the fertilizer isn't taken up by the plants, it often gets washed into creeks and rivers and ends up accumulating in the inshore areas of our reef. And while in small amounts nitrogen is fine, it's in excessive amounts after high flow events where it can create algal blooms in our inshore area of our Great Barrier Reef. These algal blooms can create turbidity in the water so sunlight can't reach seagrasses for them to grow and that has ongoing impacts. Our dugongs have nowhere to feed and it can also impact our turtles and our dolphins who use these inshore seagrass areas as habitat and feeding areas. Another problem is when we create these algal blooms, they settle on the bottom of the inshore area and the bottom of the estuaries and then they start to use up all the oxygen in the water while they decompose. And this oxygen is obviously needed by fish and, and some of the species around it. In Queensland, one of the highest causes of nitrogen runoff is from cane farms. As we've seen today, farmers are doing their bit to improve water quality entering our reef. We've seen on Tony's farm today that he has reduced the need for nitrogen fertiliser by 40% and he's using compost to do it. Compost that he has created on the farm from fallow crops, part of the sugarcane itself, and green waste. So what we've seen today and what Tony is doing is amazing for other cane farmers to learn. They're sharing information, they're innovating, trialing new things to help them reduce their impact to water quality. And that, of course, ultimately benefits our Great Barrier Reef, the home to our dugongs and turtles that we love so much.